Hi there traders, we are looking at the CAD Swiss today. Uh, this was a trade that we took last week. It was a beautiful setup, textbook as they all are. Um, pretty much we do the same thing each week, we find the opportunities and we trade them. This is last week, we're just at the start of this week, so we'll be looking for an opportunity when it goes down to trade it back up. You can see what's happened here. This is the, this is actually the four hour chart. As you can see, CAD Swift H4. Uh, and you can see what's going on uptrend. That trend broke. Okay, down, down, up, up. Then you see it went down, down, down. Then it went up, up. That's the trade we'll be looking at. And then it's going to go down, 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 down. And then we'll be looking at up, up. We'll be taking that trade. It is pretty much textbook stuff. What we're going to do is take a look at the, the chart. We're going to put the lipstick on, okay? And then we're going to look at exactly how and what we did uh, when trading that part of uh, price action. And before we do so, let's just read out the disclaimer as we have become accustomed to. Trading carries a high level of risk and may not be suitable for all investors. Before deciding to invest, you should carefully consider your investment objectives, level of experience and risk appetite. The possibility exists that you could sustain a loss of some or all of your initial investment. And therefore you should not invest money that you cannot afford to lose. You should be aware of all the risks associated with foreign exchange trading and seek advice from an independent financial advisor if you have any doubts alrighty so having read out the disclaimer there uh, we're gonna clear all drawings and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put the lipstick on and uh, then then we'll discuss the trade one second okay guys uh, here we are this is the hour chart okay uh, as you know we've got the trend line in we're gonna drop to the 15 minute chart and then we're going to go back here to where this setup began. This denotes the beginning. So this was a Monday. So we got the break on a Monday. Um, can we expand the chart just a little bit more? There's a trend line. And then uh, that's a trend line break there. Yeah. And then notice we have one, two. How many things do we have on this chart here? The usual, right? Target one will be 618, target two will be the 200. Okay, six things on the chart. Here it is. We're on the 15 minute. Yeah. And uh, well, let's, let's review the trade. It's a standard textbook situation. Trend has come down. We get a break of, uh, of the trend, the pullback. The entry here is a pending order. Boom to target. What do I keep saying? The 127 is a beautiful target because price might not make the 16 or the 200. It might, it might not. What you don't want to do, you're waiting for the 618, you're waiting for the 200, and you're going to give it two or three days, and the price comes down. And literally, right, comes down, 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 down. And look, it's, gonna, it's about to uh, knock out your stop loss. Okay. Um, Far better, right? I'm sure you would agree. Far better to have taken your profit early. You bank some bits, pips, whatever it does, it does. And you know, there's several trades like this setting up all the time. We've done the pound Aussie, we pound New Zealand, and we're doing them again this week. You know, and then that's that's your job done. That's your job done. Money's been made. You move on uh, to the next one. Textbook, six things on the top. You've got a trend line. You've got a stop loss, enter trade, target one, target two. And of course, the fib. The same thing, time and time again. Um, of course, I want to thank you guys for taking the time to, to watch the video here. We'll be putting out more videos like it. If you would subscribe to the YouTube channel, that'd be fantastic. Also, give us a like so that the algorithms can pick up the videos and so more people can get to see them if you're interested it's in a textbook so i'm not making this up 
just now. So we do this every week. It's in the tech book. You can obtain the book by looking in the, reading the description below, click on the link and it'll tell you about the backstory and everything about uh, the trend line breakout strategy. Thank you again for stopping by. Look forward to speaking with you once again on our next recording. I want to take the opportunity to wish you guys well. Thank you and bye-bye.